The USS Sailfish, SS-192, was initially named Squalus, a Sargo-class submarine, and encountered a tragic event during test dives on May 23, 1939, off the coast of New Hampshire. This incident led to the death of 26 crew members, but a successful rescue operation using the newly developed McKin Rescue Chamber saved the lives of the remaining 33 individuals. Squalus was salvaged and later recommissioned as Sailfish in May 1940. As Sailfish, it participated in several patrols during World War II in the Pacific War, earning nine battle stars. The submarine was decommissioned in October 1945 and ultimately scrapped. A preserved part of the conning tower is on display at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard in Maine. The submarine's construction commenced in October 1937 at the Portsmouth Navy Yard in Kittery, Maine, and it was launched in September 1938. Following successful test dives, Squalus sank due to a failure in the main induction valve, causing flooding. A rescue operation, supervised by Lt. Commander Charles B. Swede Momsen and utilizing the McKin Rescue Chamber, saved the surviving crew members. Renamed Sailfish in 1940, the submarine was actively engaged in the Pacific War. Sailfish's war patrols were marked by encounters with enemy ships, including the sinking of a Japanese aircraft carrier Chuyo. The submarine played a significant role in various battles and earned commendations. Sailfish's 12th and final patrol included rescue missions and attacks on enemy ships, marking its contributions to the war effort. After the war, Sailfish continued its service as a training vessel and was eventually decommissioned. Efforts to preserve the submarine's memory led to the preservation of its conning tower, which stands as a memorial to the lost crew members. The story of USS Sailfish's rescue operation was depicted in the television movie Submerged in 2001.